Welcome everybody, this is Kaizo War here, and we're back to another episode of Pokemon Blue. Today we're gonna head on to um God Cinnabar. Except we're heading I'm head set, I'm gonna do this, I'm probably gonna split this into two episodes. I'm gonna split it from the Cinnabar side from the um from the Pal Town side heading to Cinnabar. And I'm gonna split from this side heading to Sea um Sa uh yeah, Sea Foam Island. So this is gonna be the first part, and I'm gonna split to the next part some other time. Because I like to go both I like to do everything I can in this game before I stop playing it. Because, you know, it's, it's easier to take advantage of the game instead of trying to beat it as quickly as humanly possible. God dang, come on. Yeah. <laughs> so instead of trying to beat it as humanly possible, I look at the sea to forget. Yeah. I like to forget a bunch of things too, but yeah. So, um, so I'm going to go from this side. I don't It may seem a little odd because, you know, he's like, hey, why are you going from one side to another? Well, first of all, I like, I like to keep my episodes short. And the only way to keep it short and not keep it long, that means if I do this part, I, I might um, I might have to fly all the way back to Palatown and I'll just be a whole bit different mess. So I'm just going to do that in the next episode. Plus, when Pokemon need the experience, because Lord knows I'm going to need it. Like, Lord knows I'm going to need the experience for everything. Because I don't like to cheat with rare candies, and grinding is not really a good option in this game, kind of. And once you get to Elite Four, you're... I'm, I'm almost like, all, all I gotta do is beat the next gym, and I'm pretty much at um, Giovanni, and then, I mean, look at my Pokemon, they're like in the 37s, like, that is low for where I am now, and grinding is kind of hard in this game, I mean, I don't know, well, obviously people experience it, but grinding is hard, in this game, spe specifically, ah, oh, crap, why do I waste one Thunderbolt on Poliwag, but yeah, hopefully, you know, Hopefully, I get enough EXP in order to sleep stand a chance to get to the Elite Four. And eventually, I gotta go catch the Legendary Bird Pokemon. I wanna try to do those too, even though that's gonna be a part. That's gonna be a pain to do. <laughs> oh, man. I want to have. I always wanna enjoy the game as much as I can before I stop playing. You know what? There's no point just trying to beat the game as quickly as possible. Say, oh, and then what's the point? Just like, I'm not a speedrunner. I wanna enjoy the game. It's not necessarily a long play, but I, I wanna at least enjoy the game before I stop. And plus, since I've played Pokemon Blue in a long time, you know, that's, you know, that's something else to experience. You know, I like to enjoy the game. Now, while I'm ripping through some um, sea, uh, sea horses, horses, while spamming the great move known as Thundershock, which is freaking stupid. Uh, wait a minute, let me check something. Hold on. Eh, special stats. I'm not even check the speed. Speed's through the roof. At least I think so. I don't know any other Pokemon faster. Defense and attack are lame, but I got a spe the special stat looks good. The special stat should have been good enough for me to take this thing now. I know I know electric has to be like um, special in this game, right? It made me wonder, I guess it's because it's just done this shot. Thunder shot's a weak move. <sighs> oh my god, I can stop! I'm dead. I want. I don't want to waste Thunderbolt out here. I swear to God. I'm, but knowing I'm gonna use Thunder Shock again, I have to go through Rap. Because I'm guaranteed he's gonna use Rap again, and I don't want to go through that. That's that's so annoying. Rap is so freaking stupid in this game. I'm glad they changed it. And I'm keeping up. Maybe I'm gonna train Ryzo and Tama here, because um, they're the, they're the only Pokemon who can. They're gonna put on a team who can actually actively beat war types, so you know there's that. I just hope, I just pray that Mega Drain does not run out of PP before I do this. And if it runs out of PP, I'll be fine. I'll just use another move. I just don't want to do that. <laughs> but anyway, let's just keep moving. Let's keep moving. We'll make it. Wait. You guys surprised? I haven't found a single war type Pokemon as I was going through here. Like I haven't been encountered once. It's so weird. Like, I didn't even use a repel before I got in this water either. Oh my god. What's with all the Pokemon? Jesus Christ. The only benefit I get out of this is like, I can use psychic type moves on it. Side wave. Oh, I, oh, I forgot to tell you, I gave, I gave um, Tom a side wave. I should have. Uh, what? That's all a side wave did? What does Sidewave even do? Are you kidding me? Sidewave does that much? 
Okay, I don't know what sideways does. I will look it up right now. Just yeah, let me look, let me look up sideways real quick. What the heck? I thought it was like it did a massive amount of damage when I freaking used it again. When I mean, uh, well, not used it when Sabrina used it against me. What? What? What the heck, man? What the heck, Sideway? What the what? Sideway. One. I like this crap up because this is what? what is it? This makes no sense. What makes even less sense to these guys with all these multiple <laughs> freaking tentacle like he's crossing like his um, tentacles? He's like, no, I ain't got time for your crap, buddy. Just don't poison me. I don't have time for that, man. Ah. Side wave affects a random amount of damage varying between one damage and one point. The user's level on the Pokemon side between zero damage and one point. What? Additionally, the game will freeze the level of zero, one, two. What? Side wave is. That's terrible! What the heck? Side wave is terrible! Oh, man. God dang it, man. What the heck, bro? So it's the thing that does random damage. Occasionally inflicts heavy damage. This is what? That is bull crap. Why give me that as a TM? That is jank. That is that is lame. What the f what? See, I, I, don't, I don't know much about Sideway because I never really, never, there's not really an opportunity for me to see it or to be used. And I'm, I'm a huge Pokemon fan, but still, like, oh my god, I, I never even knew this before. I, I, nobody, I never see anybody who even use Sideway other than this game. Well, I did see it out because I'm a later generation user, but that doesn't count. So in this game, it just does a random amount of damage, and the game will freeze if it becomes zero. See, me and tell me if I use the move and it becomes zero by random, I will. So I, I will freeze my own game if that happens. Wow. That's that's a piece of work. Well, that's a great game freak. You could have just. Why you just didn't give it execute confusion? Let me tell me, man. This, I'm already getting angry and I haven't gotten to the game yet, man. What the frick? Wow. Sidewave is complete and utter garbage. I can't wait. Egg Bomb for them. You know, you know, Egg Bomb missed a lot, but at least it was a good move. Freaking Sidewave only works when it wants to. I hate random base moves, man. It's like it's like freaking Metronome. At least Metronome has class and character for a freaking move. At least it's actually good. And at least when you use Metronome, you get a kick out of it. You can't get a kick out of Sideway. That's bullcrap. And Tom is dying, so I feel sorry for him right now. There's nothing to do about that. I've, I've tried so hard not to get poisoned, but it happened anyway. I think I still have a full heal. No way, I'd use it. I could have sworn I used that full heal against Giovanni. I want. Did I? Let me see. He's up. Well, I'm a full restore, but <laughs> why would I waste it on him? That would be a waste. Food stores ain't cheap, and I don't I don't know anybody who has the Poke Dollars to buy them constantly. And what I do, I just buy a bunch of hyper potions and um, full heals and just be on my way. But enough about that. Let's just thunder shock these things into freaking oblivion. <laughs> I forget that wouldn't work. Oh, that was a beauty of fight. I thought it was gonna fight some anorexic kid. Hmm. Crap. See, I didn't know. These beauties and these beauties back then didn't really look so beautiful. Don't look at her. She look, she, she looks like a stick with like a clam trying to eat her. It's late. 
I mean, <clears throat> my destination is pretty much Seafoam Island. Once I make it, once I make it to Seafoam, I will end the game right there. I'm trying so hard to keep these episodes like limited the best way I can. I might upload another one later, but this is not the video I'm talking about. Boom. Do, 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 do. Shocker! Wow, that literally goes with what I just did to you. Okay, let's see here. Uh, anybody else want to swap out till now? Um, and yeah, Chidori really doesn't get any action anymore. He just, he just sits there as a lowly bird Pokemon I have. But yeah, destination. The destination is Seafoam Island. I'm not going inside Seafoam Island, but I'm just going to make it there. That's the destin. That's the de that's the uh, destination for this episode. For this episode. Usually, for every episode I do, I have a destination I want to get to. If you guys haven't paid attention to that before, um, you know, let's say I was in Cerulean City, the destination would be to beat Misty and end the episode there. Because if I go too far, the video will be too long, and then just people just lose interest like way quickly. I know nobody really watches my videos, but it's it's good to know that I at least get some feedback. Somebody comments occasionally and say, "Hey, I like your video." I'm like, "Hey, I like this about this." It makes me kind of happy that actually somebody cares about what I'm doing, even, even if I'm just playing a game here. I'm just playing an old video game that everybody's pretty much played already. Holy crap, this freaking... Uh, shoot. This is one of the times I wish I had a fighting type Pokemon. Freaking Cloyster, man. Cloyster, a clam slash an oyster. What do you call that? I have no idea. I, can't, I really can't think of anything else other than Cloyster. Splash! Man, these fishermen give a lot low. Man, these swimmers give you little money, which I understand because they're wearing like Speedos and bikinis and stuff like that, and they can't give you that much money because, I mean, where would they put money at? I mean, up their butt? I believe they do. I believe they put it in their butts. <laughs> but that's just gross and inappropriate. I feel bad for myself for even saying it. Die, horsey. Ugh, another horsey. I'm gonna be careful while I'm scratching my neck. My neck is lean. I'm leaning like way, way too far to the screen. Cause I'm playing on an emulator. Oh God, bro. Oh, God dang it, Seizure, you look ugly. That's what smoke screen does. Oop. Now you're dead. Dead. And now you're dead. Dead. And now you're dead. Cheetor looked through um, grew level 38. And now you're dead. You ain't nothing. They'll never see you coming. Rizo returns once more because that's he's pretty much my best Pokemon right now. Okay, uh, I'm trying to. I don't. I don't want to switch up my Pokemon out because there's a chance I could just be beaten by the water type moves. But let's just see how this goes. I want to get everybody at least leveled up because just leaving just leaving one behind is not fair. It's not fair. Everybody, everybody gets a chance. Plus, I want to hear from in this episode. Is hopefully, this doesn't take too long. If, I'm, if, I, if I remember correctly, see from my shouldn't be too far off. But I think it's far off. Like I swear to God, don't don't tell me I'm gonna take forever at this. The longer my videos get, the longer they take to upload, and I don't want to go through all that. Now let's see how this works. Let's see how much Slash does. Ah, come on! Just don't kill it, please. Oh, Jesus Christ! And my speed's down. Oh God, no! No! Ah, oh, thank God. So close. So freaking. You know what? I'm swapping them out. You can't. You can't do it no more.
the man can't do it no more. Speaking of, speaking of can't do it no more, why the heck does still have Tail Whip? What the heck? Did I have Mega Punch? Or did I give Mega Punch to somebody? Ah, oh, crap. I think I, gave, I think I gave it one of my Pokemon already. God dang it. I said, think I did. Oh, yeah, I gave it to Snorlax and then... Oh god, I'm stupid. I could have gave that to freaking um, I could have gave it to Taku here. Crap. Seriously. Oh my god. There we go. Freaking accuracy crap, man. Trying to learn Skull Bash. We can't learn more than four moves. We move from Skull Bash. Let's get rid of Tail Whip. I mean, I was going to give him Bang, but Skull Bash is not a bad alternative. Either. You know, it's a double charging. It's a two turn move. Not really, big, not really a big fan of two turn moves unless they're Fly or Fly. What's Team 07 anyway? Horn Drill. I still can't use Horn Drill. I'm not going to take these Horn Drill. I'm going to get Horns on my team. It's stupid. It's really stupid. I got to get rid of that dumb car key. Okay, here we go. Dang it. Ugly. Fluchi, back off, man. Let's back off. Alright, so now that's the end of that. We finally made the sea foam. Alright, guys, that's the end of that. Um, I will see you all next time. Hope you enjoyed the episode, and peace out.